Hello, music fans. Thanks so much for coming back to the channel. I want to talk about Styx and uh, their big interview with Dan Rather. Uh, you know, it just seems to me like uh, Tommy Shaw and JY can't let it go. They can't stop throwing stones at Dennis DeYoung after all these years. You know, it seems like it's more than just, oh, you know, we've got some creative differences. You know, it seems like there's some deep-rooted stuff going on here. Like, they're not even open to a one-off kind of a reunion with him. Um, and they've been talking, you know, all kinds of shit about Dennis for all these years. And I can honestly tell you, I've never heard Dennis talk badly about those guys. And I even got to meet Dennis. I got to spend time with him uh, a number of years ago. And you would think that back then, when it was closest to when the split happened, that he would have been more fired up about it. He always came across to me as very hurt that they went on without him. But I can honestly tell you, I've never heard Dennis even in off the record type of fashion, never said anything bad about them. Um, yeah, they had creative differences, um, but that's part of what made everything great. Um, I mean, yeah, people will often say, you know, that song Babe is a, you know, real sappy song and, you know, not typical sticks fair. Uh, but, you know, what are you gonna do? That wasn't everything. That was just one song, you know. Um, for the most part, you know, Dennis had a sense of finesse. He had a sense of class and, 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 and he was a great uh, showman. And, uh, and he kind of offset, you know, the personalities of Tommy and JY. And uh, it seems like they really lost that when they went on without him. And, um, you know, at that point, they didn't need Dennis because Dennis had already laid the groundwork. I mean, they already had their top 10 hits. They already had their big radio friendly songs. You know, if, uh, if Styx had gone on without Dennis and had a lot of success and written a lot of great songs and had successful albums, they, they could make the case that, hey, we really don't need Dennis. We can do this on our own. But the fact is, is that they are riding on the success that Dennis, for the most part, really laid out. You know, Dennis was the mastermind behind a lot of the visions and a lot of the productions and a lot of the songs that really resonate the most with people. You know, the best of times, Babe, Mr. Roboto, Lady, um, The Grand Illusion. Uh, you know, there's others. Dennis, his songwriting and his lyrics, you know, Come Sail Away. How could I forget that one? Remember that one? I mean, these are the staples. Yeah, Tommy's got his songs. He's got about maybe three songs. Uh, but Dennis has the songs that really connected with people the most. And, um, you know, the only reason why Six is able to really go on and do what they're doing is because of what Dennis brought. And it just seems to me pretty shitty that Tommy and JY are, uh, are still going on and on about Dennis. Uh, whereas I think Dennis has always taken the high road and he's always been a class act. So I want to know what you think. Put your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this whole uh, sticks and stones and, uh, and we'll talk later. All right? Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. All right. See you soon.